Death Star, bitch. Listen to this girl. Accusing an innocent man of rape. Oh. I thought I was on the dark side. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager a chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy waste of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. The con artist said nothing as the Gladiator prepared to take her revenge. Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Head up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One. Two. Three, go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. We need you, Shower. Get to the shelter. again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? 
It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <laughs> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, then you... Collect treasure, or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <clears throat> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. You couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Enough about <clears throat> Athena. Let's talk about what you and your friends... Hey! Hey, what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher and you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just wish to be left alone. I wish Athena got to kill you. Oh, you made that very clear, young lady. Very clear. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. I will remember this. I suspected you would. Vaughn! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <gasps> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> Things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Uh, hey! What's oh. it gonna be, Fiona? Uh, somebody take this out. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Stop, yes, whatever you want. Please, just... Just leave him alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. Oh great, getting dragged away some more. I should be getting used to this by now. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking.
I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do that. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time hey, we've on, had to get come creative. On, just we'll, everyone calm we'll find down, a rocket okay? booster. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we could How's your tum-tum tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong, sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could aspect use your help. Of yeah, so of course you fault? could. I'm not the one Is that a yes or no? What, you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Great, real helpful. Honestly, don't reality. know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So the listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. Okay, That's why sure. I'm going to share this go. juicy little tidbit with you. We can't do this. So once upon a time, Fine. a few of my guys bought, yeah, borrowed I, an Atlas know, shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> How many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Billions. I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now, how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. God. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides.
From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll... <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies... But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, Princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. I kind of feel like you're holding something back. Who's holding what back? All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a, he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Ha! It's a live and breathe of Brian Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins. Is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on, haha. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no. It's, uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can... I can shut? Fine. We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios... We're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man! I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. 
Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordus piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it. It took two Vault Hunters, and Valerie, and her entire gang just to take her down. Heh. <laughs> That's my girl. Ha ha ha. This is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta- I just want to know one last thing. And then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted... Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh... Goodness. Okay. Oh... Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm gonna grab every gun I can carry, I'm gonna drive out of here, I'm gonna rescue my girlfriend, and I'm gonna marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow! What do you say, ladies? Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan, I was going to meet up with Wallet then. Fortunately, I had company. I, uh, should have said this earlier. <laughs> Can't believe Fiona let you get stabbed. Don't blame her. She couldn't have known. Valerie was the one holding the knife. Just 
glad she agreed to help when she did. Uh, a hole in me. I'm not sure how I feel about you going to Helios without me. I think I'm kinda glad. I don't know if I want to get tempted to stay. Then again, it'd be nice to see some people. The vet, especially. Well, you'll definitely be missed. The old stomping grounds won't be the same without you. Well, you were the best up there. If anyone can pull this off, you can, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just sorry uh, we're not doing it together. I mean, did you get a little stabbed? Sure. But, look, man, you're handling yourself in ways that I would have never expected. Jumping on Valerie's back like that? That was pretty epic, wasn't it? <laughs> totally. I mean, she beat the living shit out of me right after you left. And I took it! Yeah, of course you did. But, but, you saved my ass. I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. You think I should try and escape while you guys are gone? I mean, if I'm the only collateral she has, maybe it'll help if I'm off the table. Take away her leverage. I mean, obviously running seems dangerous, but sticking around doesn't seem so great either. Hey, we've seen what Pandora does to heroes, so just play hostage until we get back. You're right. Better to play it safe. And we will come back. I know. Alright, well, it's all you from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Bro knee? Hmm? Just be careful out there, okay? Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you? I'll stay in here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. Okay, I get it! Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. Uh, you <laughs> are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's felt well, huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. My office. Okay, dark interior, check. Planetary view, huh? Out the window, check. A chair so soft it could only be made out of supple kitten flesh, check. And if you're a good boy, maybe I'll even let you sit in it. Maybe. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Oh, uh, what were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly uh, haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -mm. long enough, compadre. Uh, uh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what, not to blow up your ego, kid, but... I see a real future for you at Hyperion. 
kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? You can help me climb the ranks of Hyperion. Climb? That's poor person talk, Greasy. Think rocket-powered yacht to the frickin' moon. Huh? You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Well, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Disturb the huh? sleep pattern? <laughs> Flawless! Not now. Interrupt. <laughs> Alright, good, good, again! This time with feeling! Give him the old smackdown! Atta boy! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirtying their hands. <laughs> Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Mm, nope. Well, this is a fun night. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the Digistruck won't work. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling it off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it uh, off. Right seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> Smash the baby's face. Crunch its teeth. <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no thousands, of psychos chased me. 
Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of... which could... So, one. One, yeah. Hey! Hey, you made it! And you're not even bleeding! Awesome! Psycho... with... chest bone. Oh, did you say bomb psycho? <laughs> yeah. Where? There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Hey, man. Don't think you're not helping with this. How about some plastic gloves? You know, just uh, keep it sanitary? No? Okay. Well, let's just all get diseases then. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low-down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Alright, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kinda want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? All right. Thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Sash. Make it quick. Bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, for what? Oh, nothing in particular. Just like to throw apologies out there in case I miss something, you know? Uh, better to play it safe. <laughs> That's a thing to do. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know, and you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a 
It's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Just get to the scan screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. Oh. Skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... <laughs> oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... Big. <gasps> That's Scooter for ya. I wish Fawn was going with us. Yeah. Me too, actually. You 
Gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. I wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... Eh, we wing it. Huh. Of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning! Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Hey! Looks like we've got another dead bad guy! Henderson. Impact detected on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know! Did you know the damage is critical? So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right! Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, cause that's my specialty! Now turn them other rockets up to eleven! still going? Now nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? 
We get out there and we handle these uncooperative Rockies. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of you, yeah, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though.
right rocket is way past critical, guys. was the first casualty of the mission. So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. The worst part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've 
got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Providence? Right. Providence. Well, how's it hanging, fellas? Another glorious day working for the big H in the sky, am I right? How are your kids? Still non-existent. You nailed it! That was a test. Well done! Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Hard. And what's that thing you dropped say? Whatever the hell it says, it was a doll satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Huh. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... on my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Batch, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. This is on you. Deal? What deal? It's a little late to play dumb Hugo. So we agreed that I'd bring you Reese's head? This is priceless. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Sure, let's talk to him. But if I go down, you're coming with me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Test me. Find out what I know about you. If you think I'd make a deal and not have my ass covered, then you don't know. It's been real. We're standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're linked. Now for the password. All right, all right. You want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace now. 
Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I broke the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? It's not the royal wheel this time. Ah, security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. Where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Set my gun, does it talk? Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. Alright, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. Alright. A guide will be coming off her tour any second. We're on it. All right. There's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah. When I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! I can't believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food. <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that Brie hyperhydrated crap. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium note, perhaps? Oh, my outfit's ruined! Oh no, this is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You. 
Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide? Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios' newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty though. Uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. Sorry, because of the security situation, the tour's cancelled. What? We weren't told about this. I'm telling you now. We've waited months. So wait a few more. But we're not leaving. So you better give us this tour. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh! Ah! Handsome Jack's father... Defeating... um... What a badass. Cool! Like father, like son, I suppose. The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. An epic mount that Jack rode into every single battle. And, uh... I wonder if Jack even rode that horse into space battles. <laughs> that sounds dangerous and awesome. So, yeah, definitely. Jack loved his trusty steed more than his own family. Unfortunately... The poor creature died from iridium bullet poisoning, and hardened into the statue you see before you. <laughs> poor little guy. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait! Um... Uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh! Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. Look at this chair. Just marvel at it. Stare deeply into its majesty. This empty chair represents that Handsome Jack is no longer with us. Out of respect to Jack, please. Be silent and hold all questions. 
Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, ho, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Dawn, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop. What? Oh, boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh. It ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Sure. Go for it. Handsome Jack, here I come. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the Handsome Jack VIP experience. Oh, we hope man. you enjoyed your tour. You're on Goodbye. your own, lady. I ain't cleaning that shit up again. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it! Yeah, sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Come on! Mistakes were made, alright? I let some tour group morons go through before the door laser thingy was deactivated. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second and... Uh, maybe if we had... Um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. Events here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way! Newsflash, asshole! This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't reason, then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. Oh, hey, Yvette. Glad you came by. Just cleaning up my computer. Spare me the sarcasm. You want to tell me what's going on? We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you betrayed me. You're only out for yourself. You traitor. Oh, grow up. It's just an office. But you still haven't answered me. 
why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. I made a mistake. The firefight got messy. I must have grabbed the wrong dead guy. You grabbed the wrong- They look the same when their face is a big puddle. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the- Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I can handle Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. Yvette, we need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't mess it up or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats and will take your call in the order it was received. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? By tomorrow, you'll be sipping macchiatos with the rest of the galaxy's most morally flexible. That's not your style, Hugo. What are you playing at? Being down there... I've seen some pretty messed up shit. Kind of stuff that can change a guy. That bad, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm different now. I guess I can see that. I don't know what you're up to, but you better make this right. And fast. You have my word. Oh, and Hugo? I'm watching you. Fiona, you there? Maurice, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have, uh, you know, a mission to accomplish? I ran into an old friend, who I guess is a new enemy. <laughs> wow, everyone is trying to screw you over. Oh, I have all the luck, don't I? So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Work faster! No vegan means no law it means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you in there with the vet, I would've let my stun baton do the talking. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would've bought Yvette a one-way ticket to Strangulation Town. You're here. Oh, good. Yeah, I could do without the sarcasm, Reese. I don't see you overflowing with ideas. Sorry, just stressed. Call, I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and, yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this trap door is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door you know i like to think of it as the best of both worlds yeah 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 but but am i gonna die when i go through it you know i'd be insulted if i didn't know you better which is it it's the key to our whole plan you're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever it's not as sexy as it sounds a lot of people died down there no oh, what did i agree to a brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're, you're, just, you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess and your disguise breaking down. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. Alright, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Well, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right. I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, I just 
Get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. Alright, we do this Pandoran style. This horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life. <gasps> why? Why is it? You didn't see anything. Why is it doing that? Stop why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood. Why is there blood? Where did we just found the strawberry jam? You just get arrested and meet Reese. me at Reese, you there. Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Vasquez? Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! to lead.
Hey, you... Alright, you know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I see you know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I'm Vasquez. Not Reese. Not a stupid robot, am I right? Yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. How about you go take a break before I break my foot up in your ass? Leaving now, sir. Get out! Nice job. Hey, Gordas, just so you know, I, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I know! You were acting me! It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? So... What is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Hey, Gordas, you, uh, you wanna go first? Huh? Yeah? No, thank you! Well, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Okay, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Okay! Oh! How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that tuking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. One, one. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave him the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. You don't want to go rogue and throw Vaughn's life away, do you? 
Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gorda speaking? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Soak in the sights. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. The scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? A desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got away. You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, vent some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's yeah, the spirit. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right?
Oh, this? This shotgun? It's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call, because you're gonna want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't, uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, but that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. I hope the beacon. So this means. you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. Negative! Hurry up! <laughs> I know this is your office, but uh... <gasps> this is my office now? Cool! I'm gonna paint it rainbow color! Reese, you should get back to finding the piece while I can Yeah, that's it. That's the one. The U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. That gorgeous. So this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh! It's you! How are you doing? Gordas, come back over here. Wow! You're all telling me to do the same thing! What are the odds of that? I'm not supposed to tell you that. Sure, she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. So, if we could wield Hyperion's mic together, how would you rule? Hypothetical. Of course, but still, you gotta know what you want, if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd fix Pandora. There's some good people down there, and they deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? 
You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in. You get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long... That's it. <laughs> Here it comes. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running Hyperion. And she doesn't even know I exist. That's... Oh, God. It's, it's priceless. So... was that it? Are we done? <laughs> uh, oh man, it feels good to get out of there. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So... what happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honor. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a-clapping, because I want to give a very special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives. Totally president material. All the way from janitorial. This can't be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Hey, get in, Reese. Iberian, Pandora, help us. Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome Hunter Jack. <laughs> Check this shit. When it comes to being a daddy, I'm the ultimate father. You can't defeat me, Rebel Scum, so why even bother?